Hey guys, welcome to the second video of the content production blueprint. Hopefully you have been following the first lesson and you have been preparing content ideas based on your competitors' ideas. If you haven't done that, uh, I suggest you just get back to lesson one and, and at least get 50 of these. So uh, in my case, I prepared 57. Now it's time for us to talk about editorial balance and talk about the actual templates that we provide you with this blueprint because they are going to be quite important. And the reason why we want to talk about this is because, well, when you have a blog or when you have a website and, you know, if you were only publishing, uh, you know, item reviews or only publishing list posts or something like that, the blog would get a little bit boring and dull for your readers. So what you need to do when you, you know, run a website is you need to use a variety of types of content. And this editorial balance is here to help you you know, build that variety and, and be a little bit smart about it depending on what your goals are. So at the bottom of this lesson, you will find a link to this spreadsheet called Editorial Balance Spreadsheet. And the first thing I'd like you to do is I'd like you to make a copy on your own account. So once again, you need to be logged on a Google Apps account or on a Gmail account. Click on File, make a copy, give it a name and click OK so that you'll be able to edit it and you'll be able to actually use it. So this spreadsheet is here to basically help you spread your effort across different types of content and we're going to teach you how to build each type of content and i'm actually going to go over all the templates that we teach in this module in this lesson because it's important that you start understanding what we're going to do from this point but first let's talk about the editorial balance spreadsheet there is basically three models that we offer you there is the model where you try to get both search traffic and social traffic because some types of content are more social oriented, some types of content are more search oriented, uh, some do a little bit of both, etc. So, you know, if you are in a niche, like for example, in house for us, we definitely are looking for search plus social. It's a good mix. Uh, stuff can get shared, but at the same time, you know, search is pretty important, etc. Uh, if we were doing like viral videos or something like that, or, you know, something that's inherently more social, uh, then I would definitely pick that balance here, which is slightly different. Uh, and if I was focused on maybe something that people don't share a lot, like, I mean, if you're talking about hemorrhoid problems or, you know, something like roofing or something that just doesn't, you know, get people to share usually, then I would definitely pick the search oriented balance spreadsheet. Now, what do we have on that spreadsheet? Well, it's actually pretty simple and it's all done for you. So all you have to do is you have to put the number of blog posts you are ready to produce monthly. So let's say that you want to post three times a week so you would uh, you would say you want to publish 12 times a month uh, and what it does is it eventually gives you the number of articles it thinks you should be publishing for each type so it says one image rounder please post uh, three seo keyword based list post one best x for y and we'll explain what these are right one single item review one uh two single item review sorry one question post two how to post and one embed post now Obviously, these are not hard rules. These are just suggestions to help you, you know, bring a bit of diversity in your blog. If you are not reviewing products on your site, then you can definitely skip uh, the single item review and the best text for white. These are like affiliate review type articles. But if you're not doing this, you can actually go on the right and you can just change the numbers. All you need to do is you need to make sure that um, this number is equal to 100, but if you are not doing single item reviews, for example, well, you can just change that number to zero and then add 15 here. So be at 25 and you can see that when we select all of these, the sum is still 100. But then in our editorial balance, you can see that there is no single item review anymore, but there is more question posts. And so I still get roughly the number of articles that I said I wanted and you are actually having a balance that matches what you want to do with your site. Now, another interesting part of that spreadsheet is that uh, since a lot of the content, when we outsource it, we outsource it to text broker, not all of it, but some of it, we actually uh, made something that calculates automatically what it would cost to outsource all of these to text broker. So in that case, for example, uh, 12 posts monthly, if I was outsourcing everything, there would be quite a few words, uh, but it would cost me $534 to run that. So if your budget, uh, is a little bit tight or if you just want to stick to a budget instead of number of posts feel free to just change it so for example let's say i have 300 dollars, so maybe like six is good maybe i can even go to seven uh, you can see that if i put seven then actually i get it to 311 dollar cost so i'm roughly on my budget and i know exactly what to produce 
uh, in terms of blog posts. So that's a pretty good way to balance your budget and to balance your content. Um, now let, let's just talk about each of the templates that we talk about here. Uh, and I have some examples for you, but I'm going to talk about these quite a lot in a lesson dedicated to each template because there's going to be a, a video where I talk about, you know, how to get the title, how to find a keyword, how to promote it, all these things. But let's just talk about this so that you understand what you're balancing around. So the first one we're going to talk about is the image roundup list post. And I have an example on BuzzFeed here and BuzzFeed does that a lot. Um, these blog posts are definitely not really about the written content. As you can see, they are about the images and the image curation. So you find beautiful images around a single topic on the internet. You give credit to the source because you know they created that image and if you give them a backlink, usually most people are more than happy for you to use their content and their images. And then you just write a few descriptions in between. But these blog posts go extremely, extremely, extremely well on social media, Pinterest, etc. People share these kind of posts like crazy. And if you see sites like BuzzFeed do it, uh, it's definitely a good thing to, to do. So we're gonna teach you how to do that and you should definitely do some of these on your sites. They're very easy to put together and they can bring quite a bit of traffic, get you quite a bit of emails with your pop-ups and so on. Uh, then we have the SEO keyword based list post and I took an example on authority hacker for this one uh, That's my 17 affiliate marketing tips and basically it is a list post But it's a very in-depth list post think about it like every single List item is a mini article teaching something or showing how to or just just bringing a lot of value and so these articles do extremely well in search. It's very, it's much easier to rank these kind of articles. They also do really well in social. You can see on average, I, I get probably half these many shares on Authority Hacker. So uh, yeah, we're gonna write a lot of these, especially if you're focusing on SEO, there's gonna be a lot of these and they are doing really, really well. Uh, the next one that we have is the best X for Y and that's an affiliate type of article. So like the, the goal of these articles is to make affiliate commission. And I took an example on IM Impact from Shane Meloff because he's a good friend and he's also a good inspiration for us. We talk a lot about stuff and he actually ranks number one for like best membership uh, for WordPress, best membership plugin for WordPress, sorry. And he basically makes exactly uh, a best X for Y. So best X, which is membership plugin, best membership plugin for Y for WordPress. And he basically just makes a roundup list post of products. So you can see he has a member pro, you can see he has digital access pass, you can see he has easy member pro and so on. And it's basically a great way to rank for really nice commercial keywords, like in his case, best membership plugin for WordPress. So, and then to make sales while actually bringing some interesting content to your readers at the same time. These posts are not necessarily very good for social, but for search and affiliate commissions, if you're doing affiliate marketing, they're great. So yeah. That's what we're gonna have for best text for why. Single item review, well, as you guessed, this is not a roundup review this time, it's the review of a single item, but much more in depth. So you can see that's my bus stream review on Authority Hacker as well. And you are gonna just go through a product, tear it down, tell your readers how good it is in real life and give a real third party uh, opinion about it. And that usually is uh, fairly popular and at the same time can generate pretty good sales. I mean, this post generates hundreds of dollars per month uh, on autopilot because it ranks in search and it's helpful to people. And when people click on our links to buy, then we get paid. So it's a great way to do affiliate marketing and there is going to be a bit of that in our uh, editorial balance. Then we have the question post and the question post is a m very simple one to produce actually. Unlike a few of the other ones, the question post is very simple and I have an example on wellness mana here uh, on is there lead in bentonite clay and the question post is basically what it says. It answers a question that people have. A lot of people search with questions. They, they literally type their questions in Google and writing these kind of posts which are not very long. I mean there is information but it's not that long. Uh, allow you to capture all these long term traffic and actually these posts do pretty well on social as well if they are interesting. So uh, these kind of posts, they're very easy to outsource and you can have a lot of these. They're great for your SEO. They're not terrible for your social. They're not amazing. They're not like these uh, random image, these posts, but they're okay. 
and uh, you can definitely do pretty well with this. So we're going to have quite a bit of these in our editorial balances if you have a search social or search. Uh, then what we have is we have the how to posts uh, and the how to posts are basically um, what they say. They teach you how to do something. Now these ones are a little bit harder to outsource because they usually require for you to create media. So in that case, for example, we have a recipe and they made a video, although I don't think the video is from Nerd Fitness themselves. I think they took it on YouTube. That's a good idea. Taking you tutorials on YouTube, you're allowed to embed them on your site and then making a tutorial around that. It's an, e an easy way to make an how-to post, but you can see they actually produce quite a bit of media in terms of uh, the how-to themselves. And yeah, they just give step-by-step -step instruction to cook in this case, but that could be how to do anything. And that's really powerful. There's a lot of search volumes around these things. Uh, it also is a great way to build your authority uh, because you, you're teaching. And so, yeah, we're going to have some of these in our editorial balance. And finally, in our list of templates, we have the embed post. And the embed post, as you might guess maybe, is a post where you embed something. So I have an example on Elephant Journal where we publish for Health and Mission. We published one of our infographics there. And for them, this is an embed post. They took our infographic. There is a little bit of content around and you will probably need to write a little bit just to avoid, you know, any pen or penalty and all that stuff. But uh, the main point of these posts is the embed. And in that case, that's an infographic, but that could be a video, that could be tweets, that could be a Vine, that could be uh, Instagram photos, that could be pretty much anything you can think of as long as it's an embed. And usually the content on these posts is also not that important. People don't usually read it. They go for the embed and just check that out. So yeah, we're going to learn how to create these. They're pretty fun. They do pretty well on social. They do not They do average on search, depending on how much content you have and how competitive the keywords you're targeting are. But yeah, they are a great way to you know bring some diversity in the types of content you create. So these are like the seven templates that we're going to be revolving around in this module. Now, I'm not saying that we're not going to add more templates in the future, but you will see that when we prepare our editorial calendar in the next lesson, you can pretty much cover any kind of blog post with just these seven templates. So what I would like you to do is I would like you to think, you know, how much money you're willing to spend in creating content, how often you want to post, you know, how you want to balance stuff out. Do you want to do affiliate reviews? Do you not want to do them? Just tweak the numbers on the spreadsheet. Pick also, you know, the social search or balance search social profile and, you know, come up with something you're happy with, like, and something that you want to commit to in terms of posting frequency. So in that case, we have seven for $311. Maybe you only have $200. That's fine. We're just going to go to five or even, you know, five or four. And then that's fine. You can post once a week and basically the spreadsheet in that case, since it rounds up, doesn't give you much, but I would say. Um, maybe do an, uh, maybe a best sex for why or a single item review uh, on top of that. But yeah, you know that you need to do a how to post, you need to do a question post, you need to do a SEO keyword based list post, and then you can pick the last one for yourself. So yeah, I want you to prepare that before you jump on the next lesson and I will see you on the next lesson. Have a good day.